Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Hour MATLAB Tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the first part of a series of tutorials on calculus in MATLAB. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to perform differentiation in MATLAB. So first, let us perform a basic differentiation. The syntax for this is SYMS space X followed by DIFF followed by parenthesis and within these parenthesis you have to write the function which you need to differentiate followed by the order of your differentiation. Now writing this is not compulsory. If you want to differentiate it only once you can just skip this but if you want to differentiate this function many times you have to write the order. For example if you want to perform a double differentiation you can write 2 here so this function will be differentiated twice. So let us now carry out a simple differentiation. So this is the answer. This function has been differentiated two times. The first time when you differentiate you will get the answer as 5 into x raised to 3 into 4 which is equal to 5 into 4 20 into x raised to 3 and when you differentiate it second time you will get it as 20 into x raised to 2 into 3 which is equal to 20 into 3 which is 60 into x raised to 2. Next let us perform differentiation using the inline function. The syntax is first you need to define the variable that you are going to use as a symbol which is SYMS space X. After this you need to define the inline function. First comes the function in single quotes followed by the variable. And finally you have to use the DIFF keyword followed by the inline function F and the order of differentiation. So you are getting the same answer as in the previous case. You can also perform partial differentiation in MATLAB. Let us see how to do it. I want to differentiate this function sin 5xz upon y. Now this function has three independent variables x, y and z and I need to differentiate it with y as well as z. So first I need to define all the three variables that I am going to use in the function as symbols in this way and since I have to differentiate it with two independent variables I will have to use the DIFF function twice. First I will use the original function here followed by the variable that I want to differentiate with and after that this function will give me some answer. So that answer I need to use in the argument of the outer differentiation function. So whenever this gets executed there will be some answer in variable form and that will come here as the first argument of the DIFF function and after that I will write z which means that whatever you get in this place will be differentiated partially with respect to z. So let us see how to do it. Note that I haven't put commas in between but there are spaces. So this is the answer. First this function was differentiated with respect to y. Now when you perform partial differentiation the other variables are assumed as constants. So this merely reduces to k which is a constant upon y and when you differentiate k by y with respect to y you will get minus k by y square which is equal to minus 5xz upon y square and when you differentiate this with respect to z 
the z in the numerator gets differentiated to 1. So finally you get the answer as minus 5x upon y square. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next part we will see how to perform integration in MATLAB using different inbuilt functions. So till then goodbye and take care.